friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome and now the antechamber is filled up with 2% hpmc and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and in this case I have made only one side port. And now capsulorexis. Capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uterata forceps. Always remember that at this time you must lift the anterior leaf of the main wound to minimize the leakage of visco from anterior chamber. And now hydro dissection. A 27 gauss cannula and BSS is used for hydro dissection. Hydrodissection is done and the nucleus rotates. Some more visco in the anterior chamber and now I am going to use this instrument. This is Dr. Suhail's pre-chopper. It is a patented device and it is commercially available. the nucleus has been divided into two heminuclei in a few seconds without use of any ultrasonic energy. And now the management of the nucleus is going to be very simple. Removing some superficial cortical lens matter and just divide on heminucleus into two pieces. The bevel is sideways and the other heminucleus is also divided into another two pieces and in a few seconds the pieces emulsified and this is the last nuclear fragment. At this time I ask my assistants to reduce the parameters and now I am going to try to remove the cortex by the handpiece itself but at this time lot of air bubble came from the bottle remove the air bubble. Now again I try to remove the cortex by the handpiece itself. Yes, it is anything is cumbersome at the beginning but as I do it in some more cases probably this will be a very quick way of cortical removal and it will be quite safe also but there are safer ways of cortical removal I am not recommending any surgeon to do this and now the antechamber and capsula bag is filled up with 2% HPMC and then a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being placed in the capsular bag. In this case I have noted 
fine white dots on the posterior capsule all over the posterior capsule I'm going to show that in higher magnification at the end of this video I don't know what kind of deposit is this and probably this will not cause much hindrance in visual gain but if it puts some hindrance we can always do YAG laser posterior capsulotomy now I'm going to remove the visco from all around from the capsular bag from the anterior chamber using both irrigation and aspiration when you use the main wound for irrigation the same principle lift the anterior leaf of the main wound and leakage of fluid will be much less this is closure of the side port and in this case we have made only one side port and this is the final lavage of the interior chamber there are fine white dot like talc powder like dots on the posterior capsule in this view you can see that all over the posterior capsule it is there yeah you can see the white dots very clearly in this view if you have any idea of what is this please let me know